just had my 10th birthday party. It was a Monster High themed birthday party. Right after her birthday, she just really didn't feel good. She stayed in bed all day and that was not her. So we took her to the doctor that morning. I remember the doctor coming out and saying, mom, can I talk to you in private? They sat me down and said, your daughter has a brain tumor. And I just started bawling. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. They had to place a shunt inside of me. And when I woke up from that one, I was just somehow blind and I was really upset. I remember the tough days were when I was in chemo and radiation. Tori, what's your greatest fear? For my cancer to come back. Why? Because if it comes back, there's nothing that they can do. Make-A-Wish entered the picture um, when her oncologist, Dr. Geyer, said, Vanessa, Tori, has anyone talked to you about Make-A-Wish? I was hoping that I got to create and design a Monster High doll. She's always loved Monster High. She used Monster High dolls in the hospital to get her through things, and she started writing all the stuff and brailing it, and so I would send it to Make-A-Wish, and then Make-A-Wish would send it to Mattel. The team immediately got together and put our heads together and started brainstorming exactly how we could make this little girl's wish come true. She had written specifically asking that she wanted to design her very own special character, Zori Weatherbolt. When we all got together and put our hearts into this, it was just so beautiful what spilled out. You are in charge today. This is your script writing mm -hmm. session. If you help brief me, then we're going to go write the script, and then you're going to come and star in your own script. Yes! Yeah, it's going to be great. They found like a door that had like this password, kind of like a crossword puzzle, except you had to move the letters around to make a sentence. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It made the words, bravery comes from the heart. That's what Tori loves about Monster Hive, is that she believes it values her and other people just like her that have differences and, and celebrates their uniqueness. We're going to take you through so you can start designing your own doll. But knowing that Tori couldn't see, we had to get creative and we had to make every experience for her here a sensory experience. We put together textures, touches. Perfect. And select from a few different options for each what she felt best fit with Zori Weatherbolt's design. Her highlights are purple. They're basically kind of like have a lightning bolt shape to it. Check this out. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. And if you feel each strand, it almost feels like rain. Oh well, yeah, it does. Yeah. That's cool. This is Monster High, the origin story of Zori Weatherbolt. Record draft by Tori Cartwright. Whoa, H have you been here for like a thousand years? <laughs> Make that 5,000. I'm Zori Weatherbolt, the daughter of Zeus. We actually have our special Comic-Con dolls. Oh my god. <laughs> Your very own Thunder little plush pet there. Dang, I'm holding on to this. <laughs> it was amazing to see her light up. Just a smile. She never stopped smiling. At the end of the day, we got into the limo and she goes, Mom, my face hurts from smiling all day long. <laughs>